Let's go. Boom. Okay, it will work every time now, guys. Duriel is always a one-shot. There it is. Chi <laughs> Chi. Boom. One shot. Hoda. Just he spawns and he's dead. Hey everybody, it's Rob here. The new patch has just dropped yesterday, and we have been testing the Ring of Red Furor guaranteed crit. And we actually managed now to get a 100% success rate to one-shot Duriel. And you see this little buff down here? I'm in a Duriel group here with four people and I'm just the only one basically that's, uh, that's gonna hit him. Um, I was asking them to like kill the left and the right and then we just do our rotation on Duriel. So what you want is this little buff here on the bar. And to achieve this, all you need to do is do two hammers. Like right now I'm gonna spend it. Just do two, two hammer of the engines. And then you get this little buff here. So whenever you, before you open Duriel, you just do two hammers. Um, you can use like a space bar to get uh, resources. So you just do two hammers to have uh, this little icon here. And then that means your next hit is is guaranteed to crit with the Red of Furore. And it's also guaranteed to do a 1.3, like 30% more DPS. On top of this, we are playing our Blood Boil. And if we don't overpower for 20 seconds, which we do here in Duriel, you don't overpower until we hit the boss, until we one-shot him, in fact. You're also guaranteed to overpower, and that crazy scale, so you had crit and overpower at the same time. So we are rocking um, all the multipliers here. We have 700 crit damage, we have 2.7k overpower damage. We have the golden kappa emote, <laughs> as the chat shows you. We have uh, the banished Lord Talisman, which has another multiplier for crit and overpower. And the grandfather, which doubles our crits again. So we have like some crazy overpower inception 100% guaranteed chance. So these are our stats here, like pretty offensively. Like I don't have the perfect orders here, but we don't need for the boss, right? We just need poison rest for Duriel. This is for Lilith, Duriel, that kind of stuff. It's just the boss killer setup. I also have a planner that I'm gonna put in the description here with the with the new stuff. Uh, sorry, this is not the one. It's my builds. We go Bob. We go Hoda. And this one is the one-shot boss. And we also have the Red of Ring for Roy in here. It also works with our Grandfather, but the one-shots are way more likely with Grandfather. So we drop the Earth Striker completely. So you don't have to do any weapon switch uh, scenarios, nothing. You just go Earth Striker, like you just don't need it. If you have no Grandfather, you can still go Earth Striker, but we don't even need to weapon switch. All we do is just open, open the stuff here. And we just blast him down, basically. So you, what you want to do is when he spawns, you definitely want to cast your shouts and stuff. So he doesn't uh, knock you back. Um, I put ground stomp here just if, in case I need some fury. So he spawns, I cast all my stuff, I go, boom, boom. 660 million in his face and uh, you can just do this every time. Like it, it, it basically can't fail unless you like hit a monster before. Like you basically one, two, this loads your gun and then in 20 seconds, if you don't hit anything, you are guaranteed to crit and you're guaranteed to overpower. There's nothing that can go wrong. Like it's a 100% chance. Like before we had like 90% crit chance and sometimes we wouldn't crit. Sometimes we would crit. So let me walk you through one more run and the boss goes boom. Then we'll show you the entire uh, boss kill setup real quick. Hopefully everybody's here. Seems like this guy 
not AFK. Okay, so you just go to town, you reset, everybody accepts, we go back. Uh, I will have a, oh my god, yeah, just give me a sec, I want to do one more run, we do like two more runs, we also want to do a little skill real quick. Just to show you how crazy this new ring is, man. So on the way, usually, so I already got the buff from the last run, so I don't even need to hit anything, right? Because I just did it from the previous run. So what you can do is, like, just don't hit stuff and uh, have your friend kill the rest, and then it's, like, 100% guaranteed. Like, I loaded my gun, like, nothing uh, nothing can stop it, right? So we can just instantly go. We pluck the, uh, the Duriel key here. You get into position, so you want to be in a position where you can metamorphosis him, so you make him vulnerable with your metamorphosis. So if he spawns now, you do uh, your button presses. I did press it a bit too early, but that's fine. We still have another ensemble. And then spacebar, boom. 680 million, just like that. And uh, we do the metamorphosis uh, to make it vulnerable together with um, our prey of the week. And then you can do it here, like I can do like one, two here for the next run. You don't have to do it, you can also do it at the start of the other run. But it works pretty well like this. You just go town again. And you basically repeat this process and uh, there's no variance, like it just works. You want a tutorial and, and hopefully you get a new unique. Right now I don't get one, but it's about 2% drop chance we established that. So this is my current gear. We are rocking Harlequin's Crest. We are rocking... I mean, Harlequin's Crest, Shaco is basically giving you 4 to all skills, which is the best DPS option, because right now we only really care about damage. Um, we are rocking Primal Breastplate of Numbing Wrath. This one is just to get fortified, because we have uh, quite a few fortify uh, damage multiplier that just make us even stronger. Then we have uh, gloves here that uh, give us damage when we stand still. So this is this little icon here, like you see when I move my attack power goes down and when I stand still it goes up. So really good. Obviously we don't need extra berserking because we just have wrath and we one shot every boss so we have berserking already. So you don't need a lucky hit on berserking. That is for Nightmare Dungeon. This is the boss killing setup. Tybalt's Will to get um, 1.4 damage multiplier. Boots is kind of whatever, you don't need the movement speed when you're one-shotting the boss, but it still helps to get there fast, right? Like when you're running to Duriel. And then we are playing Limitless Rage. Again, we have no more Earth Striker, we removed it. No weapon switching, very easy, no big rotation like you do. <laughs> Two hammers to get your buff. And then Spacebar to get Metamorphosis, to get the target vulnerable, to get our Expertise multiplier and the General multiplier. Also to trigger our um, Decimator, because if you make it vulnerable, it's just going to give you a 1.1 damage multiplier. So uh, we don't get the second part, but the first part, that's enough to one shot any monster in the game. Currently, anyways, we'll see in the new endgame. Uh, then we're rocking um, Quake, we're rocking Edge Master, and you see a lot of our power damage, we're rocking Grandfather. Again, you can play Earth Striker if you want, but it's not needed. We're rocking Shouts to get Fury. This one helps us with our Fortify, this one helps us with a bunch of things. Uh, makes us uh, guaranteed to have our Relentless proc as well. And we have the Banished Lord Talisman, obviously, for the big deeps. And we have the new awesome ring. 100 Fury. You just need to do two hammers because our hammer costs 70, so two hammers is 140. That's more than enough to trigger the ring within three seconds and then you, bam, guaranteed crit, guaranteed overpower, target is guaranteed dead. So that's amazing. These are the stats that I have currently. About 300 Berserking damage, this could even be higher. Um, expertise is X and then obviously we attack with a mace on our holder. Skill tree is looking like this, so we just go full DPS. This one, we have ground storm, like this one if you don't have fury, it gives you 40 times the Shaco and the ring region multiplier, so it helps. Like let's say I just enter the run. We're rocking ground storm. It can just give you fear if you don't want to spend your shot cooldown. So what you can do is just press this and press this and boom, boom. This is how you can get a stack, right? This is why I use it. Like you can have your lunging strike here if you like or any other skill. I just like ground storm. It's cool. And let me uh, demonstrate you the rotation once more. So you open the stuff. And like, you know, you want about this distance to make him vulnerable with your metamorphosis. 
So we'll see here. The boss will spawn here in a second. Then we press our shards. Press all our stuff. And then we boom, boom. Half a billion. It always works. You see the buff down here? Now it's gone already. But this little like berserking icon whenever you bash. And then again we can do it one, two. And we have the buff for the next run even. I wonder if I can also keep it until Lilith. You can check that as well. But let's go over the rest of the skill tree real quick. While I go to town and reset. We kill him one more time. Then we kill Lilith. In a four-man group, by the way, so it gets pretty crazy for all this. This is the one-shot boss version of the build. And yeah, you see here, um, we have Radiant and Cryden, this one just with extra fury, imposing presence for the um, overpower. If you have more life, you overpower us more damage, more bonus life. Again, this one was for just getting fury and the stacks. Challenging shout, we took out the, the rune here. You can pick it, but it doesn't matter. The war cry here will fortify. Unfortunately, on bosses, you usually don't have six enemies, so we just take extra fortify, which procs our counter offensive for more DPS. And here, these points you can take out, you can leave in, doesn't matter. Fury regeneration is kind of nice. We have pit fighter and slaying strike. Don't really need this. It's just big number on Lilith you can hit for when uh, she has low life, but again, not necessary. <laughs> Really, like you have so much damage. And then we have triple um, damage here, like 1.15 crit multiplier, 1.45 overpower multiplier, again, both guaranteed. 1.15 vulnerable multiplier, again with metamorphosis, you see all the damage multipliers are coming together. Tempered through another 9 fury, Wrath of the Berserk King. And we're not even like using the full potential here, like you can if you hit like multiple times before you do the final hit, but it's all not needed, like the damage is high enough. Like you see me hit for 3 billion, like you can hit for so much, um, like we did on the target dummy, but like Duriel has like less than 200 million lives, so you don't really need to hit that hard, right? Like there's not really a reason for it, like you want to be consistent, like this is 3 billion, but it's like on low life, it's stunned, you know, with all the injured stuff. It hits for 3 billion, but you don't need this. The boss has 200 million, so one tenth of this is enough. You just want consistency on Duriel, on Lilith, if you're carrying your friends. I mean, alone, Duriel has 50 million life if you're alone. In the party, he has 200, so that's where uh, you need a bit of damage, but it's complete overkill anyways, guys. You saw, like, all my hits are like 500 million plus. Um, and then this is how the Paragon tree is looking. We have Crusher, we have Ire. We have uh, Dominate here for some crazy overpower. Decimator, again, we proc it with Metamorphosis. Um, right now, we are not even spec into Bonebreaker. You can do it, like, if you if you don't want to pick the offensive nodes here. Uh, just for more overpower. But you, you're already guaranteed to overpower in two different ways. And uh, that is um, Dominate and the Blood Boil on the... On your vampiric powers so you already have plenty of sources and you only need to do one hit but if you kill the small ops uh picking bone breaker uh, every 12 seconds another overpower is is reasonable you're playing wrath here like more crit damage good stuff we used to play the weapon swap cliff here uh, mortal draw but since we're not swapping weapons anymore and we don't need the crit chance buff because we're already guaranteed with our rings uh, we just pick wrath like anything that does damage basically and also picking Byway in another board, and then we have like all the Fury nodes, all the Berserking nodes, and Blood Rage, of course, for another 1.75 multiplier. Super crazy. Well, let's go here. Can do another round. It's pretty comfortable. See, we still have the buff, so we can do like an easy rotation. And before we used to drink Cruelty Elixir, but now we can actually drink Resourcefulness, because. I mean, you don't even need to drink anything, but I like big numbers. Who does not like big numbers, right? So just get yourself some big numbers. Boom, 400, easy, like still more than double it. This is one low end, like the weapon has a big range. Um, as we get another chest armor here. Kind of want to check this gear as well. Oh yeah, that's basically how it goes, guys. Four out of four. Every hit for like half a billion or more, 400 million, whatever, like at least double the health that he has. And you can get way more damage, but it's not needed. And this is just consistency. And that is key if you want to do efficient tutorial runs. 
uh, with, uh, with your friends, with the community, with anybody. And this has been the Holter Boss Killer Boys. Very much damage and I really like the build. Like if you if you're just watching and standing still here, I think we're already rocking. But some pretty decent attack power already, like 130 or something, like just attack power wise. And it's a really strong build. We just went full DPS and uh, it it's fun with the new ring. I'm really happy that Blizzard decided to um, bring these powers back. We also tried the Necromancer, all the corpse power, really amazing. And this power is just such an amazing uh, addition for Barb. Right now, I have all the three um, different Hoda builds. We are mainly using this one in the one-shot boss. So there's other variations. Here, this is the one-shot boss, right? I'm going to put them all in the description. Um, I think in Nightmare Dungeons right now, because people keep asking me which, um, which ring we would drop for the Furor. For the red furor, and I think in Nightmare Dungeons we don't even play it. It's hard to say. I must do some more testing. But if anything, we would drop Bolt's Chieftain. But again, for Nightmare Dungeons it might not be the best because Nightmare Dungeons is basically just speed farming now, and the push version that one might have the ring again if we have the new end game. The push version here that's also in the description. I'm gonna link it to you in chat as well. This one has the ring again. Because here we are playing a bit slower and a bit more careful, I think. It's not really about speed farming time and leveling glyphs. And this is also like a complete new Paragon board with the new Tears of Blood glyph here that we have. So This is just a theory crafted one. Obviously we have to see how, how hard it is, but this one goes like with Doombringer and like a lot of toughness. We probably even want to drop Tywood's Will and uh, yeah, we have to ring here just for the big hits we go in. Big hit with Challenging Shout and then we go out and are defensive again. That's the in general idea, but I'll make a separate video about the push version once we come closer and once we have min-maxed our gear. I hope you enjoyed this overview, my friends, and yeah, keep smashing, my friends. GG. Okay, so you just walk up to Lilith like this. Sup? Boom. Half a billion. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.